We are getting close to the end here on Top Chef All-Stars LA. I found this episode very interesting, especially the ending when we had our malarkey meltdown. And, you know, it was very surprising to me. So the whole challenge was we go to this restaurant called Michael's. That's a very fa famous restaurant in L.A. Tons of amazing chefs have worked there over the years. It's their 40th anniversary. And the challenge was make a dish inspired by one of the famous dishes by one of these famous chefs at Michael's for their 40th anniversary. So first off, let's just uh, get, let's no, let's just jump straight into malarkey. So this obviously did not go well for him. He is the, our chef sent packing today and I really, I really felt for him today because can you imagine being in a competition of this level, getting all your dishes ready for the judges, walking out to the judges table for your explanation on your dish, and then all of a sudden your plates aren't there. Like two plates showed up at the judges table, the rest of the dishes, who knows where they went. Like what? And understandably, he was livid. And then on top of that, the his his plate, he designed it, you know, you eat one half, then you eat the other half. And I feel like in a in a fine dining experience, that's not that unreasonable to have, hey, eat eat this and then eat this. It doesn't seem that ridiculous to me. And the judges were just like, yeah, whatever, we'll mix it all together and just eat it. Sounds good. Let's go. And I really felt bad for him. And then we saw at the, when it came down to judging, he was furious. He was, he was ready to quit. And I think if Gregory hadn't talked him down from the ledge, that malarkey would have just walked out. And my guess is that the judges changed their mind and sent Malarkey home instead of Gregory. So Gregory kind of got his skin saved by Malarkey just getting fed up with the, the entire process of the show and what went down. So that's kind of a sad way to see Malarkey's journey end. I really didn't view him as a real contender to win this thing, but you know, getting into the final five, anything can happen and you know, we see someone like Stephanie who has really just kind of been ho-hum all season long. And then all of a sudden she wins last week. She's neck and neck for the victory this week. And if she closes out the, the season on a strong note, 100% has a chance to win this thing. You know, it's not just Melissa who's been great all season long and won today that is just going to run away with this thing because, you know, we've seen in the past where chefs who have just kicked ass all season long come to the end of the show and all of a sudden they're just gone. You know, they have this saying, you're only as good as your last dish. And, you know, we it happens. It happens over over again. You know, even even chefs that we've seen get knocked off like Eric and Nini, they were doing phenomenally. You know, that you slip up, you're done. That's, that's how it goes. So I'm very excited to see how all of this plays out. You know, will Melissa miss that step and not cross the finish line? Because I have to believe that she is the favorite right now, but you know, those other chefs who are there, Brian Voltaggio, he's no joke. You know, ever you can see how much all the other chefs respect him and and are really impressed by everything he does. Kevin, he has been that chef who's really, for most of the season, either been right at the top, right at the bottom. And if he can string together some more wins, like he has the wins in his bag, he makes a great case to be the one who wins. I already talked about Stephanie. And then we have, we have Melissa, who's just 
She's just been great all season long. So gonna be a very interesting what exactly plays out here at the end as we head off to Tuscany, Italy for our final episodes and to crown the champion of Top Chef All-Stars LA. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, come back next week. We'll see ya. I miss Gregory. I said Gregory, but... Yeah. <laughs>